three, two, one, begin. This Chinese-made mask is supposed to filter out 95% of dangerous particles from the air. It didn't even come close. This one we've never seen go above 75% effectiveness. That's because it's a counterfeit. The coronavirus pandemic sent individuals, companies, and even whole countries scrambling to buy up scarce masks and other critical medical supplies. The United States was caught largely unprepared. Months into the pandemic. This is a huge security issue. For the past seven months, the Associated Press, Frontline, and the Global Reporting Center have been investigating how the country's medical supply chains broke down. This is what I was worried about on steroids. America's medical supply crisis. Link after link failed, and that catastrophic collapse is perhaps the most consequential failure of the United States' effort to battle COVID-19. It explains why there's a higher rate of death in this country than almost any other country in the world. Um, and it was not unexpected. Following one shoot, reporters noticed that an international charity had received a shipment of fake N95 masks from China. Probably our biggest surprise in this uh, pandemic has been that counterfeiting issue. People donating masks to medical workers were also asked to send some to AP. The masks were then sent to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill for testing. Researcher Philip Clapp says the masks didn't stand up to scrutiny. Everything we've seen here uh, is a counterfeit of sorts. Some were obvious fakes and easy to spot. If you see anything that's clearly labeled as NIOSH N95 and it has ear loops, that's a dead giveaway that it's a counterfeit product. Others needed hours of research into certification codes, batch numbers, and proper label designs. But the real proof was in the testing. After fitting the masks with metal stems, a member of the UNC team would enter an air chamber filled with charged particles. And this allows us to connect a particle counter uh, to this space and measure the particles that are penetrating behind the breathing or into the breathing space. The person in the chamber would go through a series of activities meant to mimic the range of motions a typical worker might perform. Bending at the waist, reading a passage out loud, uh, looking left and right and looking up and down. Some of the masks tested in the mid-30s. In a pandemic, numbers like those could mean the difference between life and death. If uh, you know, you're in an operating room and you're using uh, equipment that's not doing its job, uh, you may be highly vulnerable. The AP also sent Clap one of the masks it bought for its own employees. Turns out it was a fake. We actually saw that it only worked at 35% efficiency. The manufacturer and distributor did not respond to requests for comment. Once alerted to the problem, the AP says it changed suppliers and sent out new masks. It is a shame that people are, are faking products like this, as if COVID and dealing with that is not hard enough. But as the pandemic continues, so does the counterfeiting. Alan Breed, Associated Press, Chapel Hill, North Carolina.